Hey everyone, welcome into my bathroom and today I want to talk about our simple science, the simple science of formulations and the routine. So let's get into what simple science is. Right now simple science has six formulations and they're designed in a very specific way. So the first ones, I like to call those microdoses, the microdosing ones. There is a morning microdose and a nighttime microdose. The morning microdose really for oily skin with the beta hydroxy, nighttime microdose with the retinol and then there is a ceramide barrier cream those three are what you would call every day all day for most people then you we have three formulations that are boosters or super boosters and what those are going to do they're going to target the two percent is going to target uh, two percent beta hydroxy is going to target the pores and the blackheads the five percent niacinamide for the brightening and calming of the skin and then our super booster our 14 percent azelaic that one is really going to target that anti-aging anti-acne just smoothing out that skin it is a real super booster to get in there on more intensive kind of uh, skincare routine so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and explain or go go through my daytime and nighttime beauty routine so daytime what do I like to do for the daytime is I like to use the uh, I have let's let's break it down this way because I have oily combination skin it's also aging. I also have a lot of sensitivity and I have enlarged pores. So for me, it's very important to control the sebum, to work on the pores, to work on the redness and sensitivity. So in the daytime, I use the microdosing with the salicylic acid and it also has 1% azelaic acid and, and it has 1% niacinamide. I love this because if I go in to do things that are very, very drying or purifying or very harsh, I find that my skin dries out and you can have oily skin that is dry. You have superficial dehydration. So there's this combination that happens. So your skin is never really in balance. This is why it's really important for that kind of skin type, oily combination skin, you find that balance between ingredients that really help to get to where you want to go. So what I want to do, okay, with my skin is I want to clean out, kind of clean out my pores, right? I want to tighten up my pores. I want to reduce the blackheads. I want to reduce the look of the sebaceous filaments on my nose. So it's this thing about getting rid of a lot of that built-in sebum, unclogging the pores without drying my skin. So I want my skin to look much more refined. I find that using the microdose does that. If I notice, and sometimes my skin is extra oily, problematic, then I will take the 2% salicylic acid and I will target those areas so you don't need a lot I don't use it all over but you know on the chin on the nose up here on the cheeks I target it and then I'll put my ceramide cream on top that could be a typical daytime routine so what am I doing here I'm refining my skin, right? I'm really working hard to refine my skin, not to get more breakout, to control the oil. And then what I'm I doing is I'm boosting my barrier my ser with the ceramides. So this is not oily greasy. It's not promoting breakout. It's not enlarging the pores. It's working all the time to balance out the oil, the sebum, the redness, the pore size, and keep it hydrated. So that's my daytime routine and this is why I do it this way because of my particular skin type if you happen to have drier skin this isn't the routine for you if you've got drier skin you're going to skip the beta hydroxy acid uh, part you're going to go straight into probably the niacinamide and then use the ceramide so again you're gonna think more about hydration and moisturization and balance nighttime so that was my daytime. Now I'm gonna get into my nighttime routine. Nighttime routine, I wanna get a little bit more aggressive. 
I want to get a little bit more also um, anti-aging, if you will, skin renewing, um, a little bit different kind of mechanism. So for a nighttime routine, I go to the microdosing again. This microdosing is a 0.1% uh, retinol and it has 1% one, uh, azelaic acid and 3% niacinamide. Now this one has a little bit more of that niacinamide because it balances off the retinol. Remember, I have combination oily skin, problematic skin, very reactive, very, very sensitive. And I'm also, I also have aging skin with pigmentation. So, you know, there's a, there's a little bit of sprinkling of everything. So I'm conscious about my skin type and what my skin goals are. So for this is why at night, the retinol, so I'm gonna use uh, about three drops, four drops of the retinol, microdose. The microdose again, I like this idea of a microdose because I can use retinol every day and I want to. I really want it on my skin. Science shows, studies show, results are there. It is anti-aging, it is good for the collagen, it is good for the pigmentation, it's great for the skin refining. But if you use it too strong, um, you start to get this dryness and sensitivity. So we want the benefits without the bad side effects. That's why this microdosing is really, really exciting because we're also getting a little microdose of the azelaic acid, which I absolutely love for skin smoothing. You're also getting a little bit of that niacinamide, which is absolutely important for, again, calming and soothing that skin, also brightening that skin. So nighttime, I've done the microdosing of the retinol, then I will go straight into, so my, my skin, again, reactive. So what do I do? I use my retinol. I'm gonna use a little bit of niacinamide, not very much, but only on areas where I tend to feel, usually around the mouth area here, I tend to feel more sensitive. This is where I'm gonna put my niacinamide tonight, today, right? A little bit around the eye um, bone here. And then my azelaic acid, I really concentrate it on the jawline because I get hormonal breakout or cystic breakout. And then all over just a little bit, down the neck area too, on the face. And finally, I will use the ceramide. So for me, the azelaic is treatment booster and I target spot treatment if I get a bit of breakout. The ceramide is your barrier for every single day. And I kind of take my time. You don't have to take your time through the steps. I do because I like it to absorb a little bit. Don't overuse, use just a couple of drops of the products. Target where you need to target, spread it out where you need to spread it out, layer it but listen to your skin and your needs. So think about this, have a plan for your skin. Know your skin type, know, your, know what's happening with your skin, have a plan. What are you trying to do? And then use the formulations accordingly. And this is the beauty of simple science. It's gonna give you that ability to really reach your skincare goals. My skincare goals, my skincare goals are to have more refined skin, less visible pores, to have smoother skin, and much more even tone. And I'm getting there by utilizing the microdosing in the day and night, that azelaic as a booster and that ceramide all the time. I hope you enjoyed me sharing my simple science routine with you. I really look forward to your routines, hearing how your experiences, how you're putting the skincare together, what benefits you've seen, what results you've seen. I really look forward to that because I think that we all learn when we share information and we share our common experiences.